the sport of sailing. So, Fans of the America's Cup final have long been able to see the races and the water, but not what might be the most important factor, which way the wind is blowing. Until now, at the upcoming contest in Barcelona, laser technology scans the entire course and uses the data gathered to display, for viewers, wind speed and direction while the race is happening. The technology, called Windsight IQ, was developed by Capgemini, and it aims to give viewers new insight into how the racers plot their course. As you can see that pressure coming down on the water there, real life. Grant Dalton is the chief executive of the America's Cup. So with Cap Gemini, we looked at a program to try and demystify that digitally for the viewer and came up with the idea, they came up with the idea of running a series of LiDAR, which is basically a, a, a mechanism of measuring the wind. The commentators can talk about where the puffs and lulls, where the shifts are coming from, and, and in real terms and in real time, demystify for the viewer what the yachtsmen and their dog whistles are seeing. The information from the LiDAR laser rangefinders is combined with data from sensors on the race yachts and buoys, as well as predictive wind models. Green indicates more wind speed, okay, dark blue indicates lower wind speed. Engineer Keith Williams led the development of Windsight IQ. We can also use that data to do what we call ghost boat simulations. And this is the idea where you can say, right, Given these particular wind conditions, what is the optimal thing for the sailor to do in those particular wind conditions? Should they go to the left? Should they go to the right? Britain and New Zealand will go head-to-head -head in the match, which begins on October 12th. The first boat to get seven race wins claims the America's Cup.